Hey everyone, Mitch here with another tips and tricks video. I haven't done one of these in a long time, so I thought I would kick it off with something that I would like to call pad tripping. And what I mean by that is I'm going to be taking in this tutorial a single single pad, and then I'm going to make it circle around your around your head. If you have uh, headphones, it's probably the best sounding when you have headphones on, but nevertheless, it's going to be awesome. We're going to use a mixture of panning, we're going to be using a mixture of reverb, we're going to be using some auxiliary tracks, buses. Um, if you don't know uh, some of the things that I'm doing here, I will put some links to videos um, by my face. That will help um, kind of help, they'll help you understand um, some of the steps that I'm taking in this process. All right, so go watch those if you would like. All right, so let's get right into it. I have a track here with a pad on it, and let's listen to it really quick to just see how it sounds before we start editing or doing anything. Nope. Okay, so as you can tell, it's going to be really, really... Um, really really flowing almost just in the background something that you might really not pick up on um, but for what it's worth there it is All right. so the first step to this whole process is coming down here to the sends and send it to a bus I'm gonna send it to bus 10 alright and on this bus 10 I'm going to be adding a reverb plugin and I'm gonna go down to space designer because space designer is my friend it's my favorite reverb plugin and then I'm going to pick a large space, warped spaces, because that those are pretty creepy. And one of my favorites is black hole. Okay. So basically what I have is a pad one, this pad, and it's being sent, or I'm going to send it to this auxiliary two track, which is straight up just reverb from that pad. And I'm going to add a fair amount of sent, send, and I'm probably going to hit it up about zero decibels just like so and so what we're going to be having is like I said a pad and that pad reverb okay and I will name that pad one verb like a so alright so the next thing that I would like to do is make sure that I select that pad one verb go to options and then create arranged tracks for selected channel strips alright so that pad, that uh, channel strip becomes on our main window here and so that we can automate some panning with it all right okay so we have this pad what I'm going to do next is work with some EQ on just a little bit so I have this pad that I'm going to open up the reverb on and this pad one verb that I'm going to open up the reverb on or the EQ on and then what I'm going to see is I'm going to play through this and I'm going to see where this pad lives where in the stereo space this pad is being heard the most. So let's like take a listen. Alright, so it looks like it's going to be around 200 hertz and 500 hertz and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make the actual pad and the reverb on the pad um, sound completely different from each other. So I'm going to kick up 200 hertz on the reverb to about, let's say, 8 decibels. And then at 500 hertz, I'm going to take it down about 8 decibels. And make them even, like so. And then on the actual pad, I'm going to do the opposite. So I'm going to take out 8 decibels at 200 hertz and add 8 decibels at 500 and make them look fairly even like I did. And so they're just mere opposites of each other. So what's gonna happen is our reverb and our pad one are going to sound different since I EQ'd them against each other. All right, that's another step in the process. And I'm gonna have my channel EQ come after my Space Designer plugin. That is perfectly fine, okay? Now the next step, the most important step is going to be automation. I'm going to select pan from my automation menu on both my pad and my reverb and then I'm going to do some little tricks and that is I'm going to 
just just follow along. I'm gonna I'm gonna increase the panning um, of the actual pad track all the way up. And then it's gonna go down all the way. And then it's gonna go up all the way, like just like like I just showed you. And then I'm gonna do the opposite on the reverb for the pad. Okay. And I'm gonna start down. I'm gonna go up all the way. And then I'm going to go down all the way. OK. And then the next thing, all you really need to do is select Escape Q. And then you can select, nope. You can select all those points. Hold Option, click, and drag. And you can do it multiple times over. Same for down here. All right, so as you can see, they're just doing the opposite, just like I did with the EQ. All right, so let's take a listen and see if this actually does make this pad swirl around our heads and make us trip. Pow, pow, pow. So it really, really does um, make that pad just go around and around your head over a course of time, and it's really, really fun, and it's something to do. Uh, not too many people realize it, but if you're really sitting there listening to the music, you can definitely get this really, really cool effect to um, give your music just a little, little something extra that sets it apart from someone else who's just using that straight pad. Um, I don't know, something to think about, something to, you know, maybe try on a different kind of synth, a different kind of, uh, you know, strings, pad, something of the sort. Um, so that's really all I had to show you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please hit that um, subscribe, like, or just comment, straight up comment, and, uh, you know, ask me a question, if there's a suggestion on future videos, anything. I will make sure that I message you back. And, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. Hope you're having a great day. A peace out.